Well, hey guys, I thought uh, you might be interested. I'm uh, cooking up a little bit of venison, deer meat. So I add a little bit of uh, chipotle roast mix. And this is a little bit of spicy seasoning. And uh, come over here. And this is the magic ingredient for cooking venison. Ginger. So put it on, mix it around. Put it on. Turn this water off. And uh, stir it up. The ginger takes a lot of the uh, game, the game flavor, the gamey taste. If you're not into the game, it takes a lot of that game flavor out of the meat. And um, then frying pan, a little bit of oil. Turn it on high heat. Let the frying pan get nice and hot, and uh, keep your oil out because you're going to use it again. Anyway, so ginger, salt are the two important things you're going to put into when you're cooking venison. And you can see this is really good looking meat. All right. The other thing is, um, unless you want a steak, cut thin pieces. The thinner you cut them, the better, little chunks. That way they cook nice. Um, I like my meat rare anyway, but oh, there we go. We got pepper too. I'm going to add just a little bit of pepper to it. <laughs> my hands are a little slippery from grabbing onto the venison. And I can't hold the thing. There we go. But yeah, that's the. Uh, the magic trick for cooking venison, I'll tell you, is using a lot of, not a lot, but putting ginger on it. People don't know about it, and uh, something I've learned, known for a long, long time. A little bit of pepper on this. We're big, we're big pepper users. So as soon as that oil gets nice and hot, which it is, take the meat and just drop it right in the pan. And you can see how nice that meat looks. And you can see I still got it on high heat. So. Just a little uh, evening snack. So, we're gonna put a little more oil on the pan. I like red meat. I eat so much venison that uh, me and my wife were joking with each other earlier tonight that we're not sure we can eat anything else anymore. So I need to just buying a new gun. I want to shoot another deer. <clears throat> So I cook it, well, this is going to be for my ex and my wife's going to have some of this, so she doesn't like the meat rare, which I do, so um, I'm going to cook it until all the red is out, you can see like right here, there's a little bit of red in the meat, so, and it's still on high, as you can see, you want to cook it on a high heat, kind of like stir fry.
going to take just a little bit of butter, a little chunk, and throw that right in there with it. This gets rid of some of the grease. The butter will take up the space of the grease a little. And just let it melt right in there. And then when the butter melts, we're going to add one more thing to this. Don't tell me you guys can't smell it. It smells so good. We're going to add a little bit of this. Maybe. There we go. These are just green peas. During the season we have our own fresh ones, but right now it's frozen peas. You put that on a plate and call it good. And I'll get back.